back for more punishment. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk today about a topic that a lot of people have only heard about and they know a little bit about. They haven't actually gone to lectures where they actually told you about mitochondrial diseases. But in fact, the difference with today is going to be night and day with anything else that you ever heard. Because what I'm going to do today here is I'm going to bring that disease right to your front door. I'm going to bring this condition that is epidemic in America. I am going to talk to you not about mitochondrial disease as some kind of a quote, theoretical, maybe a textbook type of disease, or a disease that you heard about, but you don't know anything about. But I am going to transform this. I am going to change the way you look at this. I am going to reframe your paradigm. So you, in order for you to understand, is that I'm going to start by telling you about a disease that in your practice, and this is published in a medical journal, in your practice, it affects. Here it is, the symptoms that you're going to see. This is your mitochondrial diseases. This is the symptom that they come to you because they will not come to you in your clinic or in your home and say to you, oh, I got mitochondrial disease. They cannot even spell it, much less tell you that. So what are they going to do? Here's the question. What are they going to ask you about? What is the complaint that your patients are going to ask you about? The complaint is going to be, Doctor, I'm having severe pain and inflammation all over my body. How many of you have heard that from your patients? Come on, participate. It's part of the program. If you don't participate, your brain will shrink and you will disappear. <laughs> 93% of your patients are going to come and complain to you that they are under stress or their family or their children or their husband or their wife is stressed and depressed. How many of you have heard your patients tell you that they are stressed or depressed? Come on, participate. Okay, now, I want to talk to you about the problem that depression and stress, we have over 250 million prescriptions. Every single population, 11% are taking the drugs for depression. And the drug itself causes depression. True or not? So what I am going to talk to you about is how many of you have seen your patients, family member, your mother, your father, or even your children come to you and say, I am so tired. I am so fatigued. I wake up tired. By the afternoon, after lunch, oh my goodness, I can barely keep my eyes open. How many of you heard those kind of problems with your patients? So we are seeing 87% of our patients tell us this problem. And you know what? We, why, do we have, why do we have clear evidence, clear evidence that they are all tired and fatigued? Young people, young people are tired and fatigued because you know why? They are all drinking this bull over here. You know, it, it's a, you know what else, that bull? Yeah. Yeah? You can fill in the words yourself, you know. You got imagination. Yeah? Bull? Yeah. You know? The kind of stuff you go to the toilet and you go Poof. All of that is in billions. Look! It doubles every 
year in the last six years. Doubled. Can you imagine how many of these kids, and they are, and you know what they are doing now? They are mixing bowl, the real bowl, with drugs and taking it so they can get that high. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about an epidemic problem. You see, I am different than all of the other speakers because I am crazy, okay? They, do, they will never admit it to you, I admit it to you, okay? We, I am crazy because I am crazy to make sure that you understand that we are dealing with crisis here. Everybody out there should be in here listening to this because they deal with this problem and they don't know what to do with it. And all these doctors out there are writing prescriptions for it. And I will show you some more. How many of you have patients that come to you and say, oh my God, I got fibromyalgia all over my body. I, I just have these pains. I mean, I had, we were just talking to this one doctor here, and she was having severe pain the whole entire shoulder. And the whole entire time I was speaking with her, this poor doctor was going like this. The whole entire time, she was just like, and, and she didn't even know that she was suffering for years like this. And we gave her one little help, just a tiny little help. This is only today, and just a tiny little help. In one day, she's already, I would, I would say she's already greatly improved. At least she knows that you're going towards the right direction. You see, doctors, you have to take a very clear focus into this portion. This portion of the lecture is so important to you. You must address the problem that they are coming in for. Don't just Go ahead and say, oh, well, you've got toxicity, and we've got to work on this, and it's going to take you three years, and you're going to be drinking this, and you're going to be doing yoga, and you're going to be you know, standing on the corner there and, and upside down, and you're going to have to do that for every day for one hour. Listen, they, they ain't going to do it. <laughs> you've got to address and focus onto that problem and solve the darn problem. Because otherwise, they don't give you a chance for you to come coming back for a year, uh, over and over and over for years, trying to let you see if you can fix this thing. Fibromyalgia, tendonitis, joint pain is a crisis epidemic problem. 78%. We are talking about, listen, I am a physician that can write prescriptions. And many of you have the ability to write prescription. Maybe you are an MD, but I will tell you this. I have been doing that for over 40 years. I have tried every darn prescription that you have ever tried, uh, can think of, and they don't solve the problem of fibromyalgia. And when they come to you with fibromyalgia, you know, you know you've got a big nut to crack. You know that they've been going to some doctor for already five years looking for an answer for fibromyalgia because they cannot solve it. I will tell you this today. If you've got a true fibromyalgia, and I'll teach you, if you want to, you can come and talk to me more about this. I'll teach you specifically what a fibromyalgia is. But if you've got a true fibromyalgia, I will solve that problem within one week for you. One week, and that's a promise that I will make to you standing right here. And it's not gonna be a prescription, because that's what it's about. It's about you going here Monday morning and helping your patient because that's how God works. It's turning all of these lectures, some of this baloney that I hear and the baloney that comes out of my mouth and make sure that you turn it into action. There is a transformation that you must go through right here with me today. You've got to be authentic in order to make that transformation. You've got to make that transformation from your heart. From your mind, you open it and you say, I am going to make this commitment to my patient. I'm going to do something about it. And here it is. 77% of our population is obese and overweight. How many of you already seen it in your practice that most of them have a big belly? Come on, participate. 
So what I'm trying to share with you here is that are you going to let them go ahead and be that way? You are not going to offer them a chance? Because you see what happened. This is all mitochondrial diseases, and I'm going to get to it in a second. Here it is. How many patients have you seen, or how many members in your family that you see that says to you, I got P or have you heard of it, or you know somebody that has PMS? Come on, let me see your hands. PMS. There should never be PMS.